what's going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing Bungie Cord onto our Apex servers. You may have seen servers with a variety of game modes, mini games, and worlds. Being able to bring a diverse gameplay to your users is a dream to many server owners. Sadly, this can't be done with a single server. However, with Bungie Cord, you can create a network of servers, allowing you to have mini games, different game modes, and endless possibilities. This isn't as simple as just setting your server to the Bungie Cord jar, though. Bungie Cord is a proxy that will link multiple servers together. If you want a Bungie Cord server, you need at least three servers. In this, you're going to have one server acting as a proxy to link the other servers together. The more servers you have, the more possibilities. There are quite a few steps involved in setting up your Bungie Cord network, but we're going to be walking you through each step to help you build your dream server. Keep in mind that out of the three servers, you can only play on two of them. The server used as a proxy is just a connection bridge between the other servers. It is not the one that can be played on. It is also highly recommended to download the plugin Prevent Port Bypass. This will prevent connection directly through one of your sub-servers. If the plugin is not enabled, players may be able to connect to a sub-server with cracked Minecraft. Our first step in setting up a Bungie Cord is setting up a proxy server. If you don't already have a proxy server, you can get to the proxy server page by going to Pricing, scrolling down, and going to the More Package Sizes. From here, you can make sure that you order the proxy now. But if you don't want to use the set proxy plan for your server, you can easily set your server to run Bungie Cord. Let's hop into Multicraft and see how to do that. Go ahead and head onto the main Multicraft panel page, and from here you can go ahead and stop your server, as you should always stop your server before changing any of your server's files. Now, when you're switching to Bungie Cord, it's best to reset all of your server files to make sure that you get a fresh install. You can reset your server files by clicking this Reset Server Files on the left side of the page under everything. Go ahead and click that and then type in Reset and then Reset the Server. This is going to delete every file from your server and cannot be undone. So proceed with caution. And from there, go ahead and click OK. Now that we've reset our server, we can go ahead and select the Bungie Core Jar. Scroll down until you hit the Jar Selection part of the page. Go ahead and click and you can either scroll up or scroll down or just type in B-U-N-G and Bungie Cord, of course, is going to appear. Go ahead and click that. Make sure that you change the version. Make sure that you create a new world as it's always recommended to do that when you're changing jars. Click OK. Make sure to save and then start or restart your server. Starting or restarting your server will get all the configuration files up and everything ready for creating the Bungie Cord configuration files. So if you don't start, you're not going to be able to head into configuration files or plugin lists and do all the things that you need to do to create your Bungie Cord server. So we're going to go ahead and stop the server. And once the server has come to a full stop, we're going to go ahead and head to FTP file access. And once we log in, we're going to head to the configuration YML on the page. This is how we configure the server properties for our Bungie Cord server. Go to the edit tool on the right of the YML and then scroll down until you find the force default server part of the configuration file. If true, your players are going to always connect to this default server when they join. If false, the player is going to join the server they were last connected to. So if they were playing TNT run last time they were on the server and this is false, they're always going to connect to TNT run or whatever they were last on. So let's go ahead and set that to true. This is especially important if you have mini games. And of course, whenever you change anything, you want to make sure that you save. Now that we've changed that, we're going to look for other stuff that we can change. For example, let's make sure to change this IP forward to true instead of false. And we're also going to look for the online mode and make sure that that is also set to true. That is at the very top of the config and by default that will be set to true. Another thing you may want to change 
is the message of the day, which is located at the top of the page. From here, you can change everything in between the quotation marks. You can change it to whatever you want to change it to, or you could just delete everything there and hit save. And with this, you can have regular text or you can have color coded text as well. The next thing we need to be looking for is the part of the config file uh, at the very end, at the very bottom, where it says servers. This is where you're going to be adding the servers to your network. You should see one already named example. This is where the name of the server goes. This is where the message of the day goes. And this is where the IP address goes. For each server you add, you're going to need to change the address to the IP and port of the server you're linking. For example, I'm here on my bungee cord lobby multicraft page. And what I need to do is scroll down here to the subdomain and the IP address port. Now, usually if you want to connect to your server, you just copy this, but it is a different case for connecting to your bungee cord proxy server. You need to copy your IP address and your port combination. Go ahead and copy that and then jump back in to the config. Back on the config page, you're going to need to highlight all of this, everything that is typed in numbers, and you're going to paste in the lobby or whatever server you're copying. In this case, it's our lobby and paste it in. And the names of the servers are always case sensitive. So for example, here, if this is our lobby and we need to remember the name for later on, and we do, we need to remember that the lobby is capital L O B B Y. And once you change the name of the server and the IP address, you're good to go. But of course, with Bungie Cord, we do need a second server. So go ahead and copy all of that, press enter, and then paste it in to get a different one. Now that you've added in the second text input spot, you can go ahead and jump into the second server that you want to add and copy and paste your IP here. As you can see, I'm on my second server. So what I'm going to want to do is, of course, not copy the subdomain, but just copy the IP address and the port combo. Go ahead and copy that and then paste it back into your Bungie Cord config. Back on the Bungie Cord page, you're just going to highlight all of this, right click and paste. Now, since this one is a different server, it would be a great idea for us to change the name of that and then type in what server it is. And all the while, not forgetting that it has a capital S. Now that you've input your server information like lobby, survival, your IP address, feel free to change your message of the day. And once you've done all that, you can go ahead and scroll up to the top and hit save. From the top of the config file, we're going to need to scroll down until we find priorities. Scrolling down here, we can see priorities and this sets the main server for your network. Generally, this is the lobby server. The name must be the exact same. They are case sensitive. If you set the name to lobby under servers, you're going to want to change it to lobby under priorities as well. And from here, we're going to scroll down until we find the part of the page that says servers. And you have to remember that the server names are case sensitive. So when you copy them and paste them, they have to be exactly the same. Let's scroll back up to priorities from here and highlight all of example. And then just paste in the name of your server that you want as your priority. We've set the lobby because obviously we'd rather people connect to lobby than survival. And then from here, scroll up and hit save. Once you've configured all of this, go ahead and scroll back up to the top, hit save, and feel free to restart the proxy server. And now for configuring our other servers. This set of instructions is for every server but the proxy server. So make sure that you are on your hub or your survival or whatever else. This is specifically for every server but the proxy. Once you got the server that you want to connect to your proxy, make sure that you stop the server. Once your server is stopped, make sure you go ahead and head to FTP file access. From there, you're going to want to log in. And once you're logged in, scroll down until you find the Servity Properties file. From there, head to the Edit widget to the very right of the file. Now that we're in the file, we're going to want to scroll and look for the online mode 
equal sign. And once we find it, we're going to want to make sure that we change it from true to false. Right here is the online mode. We're going to go to delete the true and then change it to F-A-L-S-E. Make sure that once you've changed it, you scroll all the way back to the top and hit save. Once you've saved, you're gonna to want to go ahead and hit back. Once you're back to this page, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you find the spigot.yml. Right here, we have our YML file, so let's head to the edit widget to the right of that. Towards the top of the configuration, you're gonna see something that says bungee cord. Make sure that we change this from false to true. Once you've changed that, you can go ahead and hit save. And once you've saved and you've set this in your proxy server, like I showed you earlier, we're going to restart the server. The quickest way to get back to your server instead of clicking back a bunch of times is just clicking on the name of your server at the top here. So make sure you do that and then go ahead and restart or start your server. And now that we have our hub and another mini game server connected to our proxy, we're gonna go over some common issues. Our first common issue is getting kicked while connecting to server. If you wanna use IP forwarding, please make sure to enable it in your bungee cord config as well. This error usually means that you have IP forward set to false in the bungee cord config. So let's go ahead and head to FTP file access to change that. Now, before changing any files, let's make sure that we stop our server, just in case your server is up and online. Before you head to FTP file access and change the bungee cord config, just make sure that your server or your proxy is at a full stop. And once your server is at a full stop, go ahead and jump to FTP file access, log in, of course, and then we're going to find the bungee cord config. Scroll down and look for the YML config file and then head to edit on the very right of the file. Make sure that you scroll down and look for the IP forward and it is by default set to false. So go ahead and highlight that and then type T-R-U-E and then save and feel free to head to the name of your server at the top to go to the main page and start or restart your server. And our last common issue is getting a server is online mode error on connection. This just means that you haven't set offline mode to true on one of the servers. Go ahead and stop the server, whether it is your hub server or your minigame server and once it comes to a full stop, head to FTP file access. From here, log in and scroll down until you find the server properties file. Head to the very right to the edit widget and click it. And then scroll down until you find online mode. And then just make sure to set that to true. And then once you set it to true, of course, don't forget to scroll up and hit save. And once you've saved this server properties folder, feel free to head back to the main Multicraft page and start or restart the server. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today. We've successfully started our bungee cord server that's hosted by Apex. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I want to thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.